Well, good morning. It's Thursday yeah. already. Wow, Thanks, this God. week is just flying by. Praise God. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we've got some really things, good things to share with you. We've been talking about that we are accepted, that we are, uh, we are accepted, that we are chosen, that God delights in us. And today we're going to talk about the fact that we are secure in God's goodness. Amen. Amen. God is good, thank right? You, we say that all the time, don't we? Praise Amen. God. So we have a scripture to read. Yeah, we're gonna, we've done Psalm 71 before, but we're going to look at it a little different than we did the last time. Uh, that's what's fun about the word. You can yeah. come from this direction, that direction. God will show us things yeah. through that. Amen. Psalm 71, 1 through 2, it says, When you sit enthroned under the shadow of Shaddai, El Shaddai. Yeah, it's El Shaddai, you are hidden in the strength of God Most High. He is the hope that holds me and the stronghold to shelter me. The only God for me and my great confidence. Amen. 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 I love that. That's cool. That's cool. And we're talking about the goodness of God, being secure in that goodness, yeah. that he loves us, he has a plan for us, and that goodness just overtakes us. Is that what the scripture says? Amen. Surely goodness and, and mercy, mercy shall oh, oh. I cut, why does it, shall follow me all, all the, the days, days of my life. life. Amen. Uh, one time Charles preached a message, I remember, on <laughs> surely goodness and mercy. Not surely, but surely goodness and mercy. And he says, it just knocks you down. Yeah, it's just, coming up from behind you. It just knocks right. you down. I like that. It just follows you all around. It, fo all the it time. follows you and it just knocks it. Amen. God, it just overcomes you. Amen. Amen. That's right. The, the scripture says his blessings uh, 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 come and overcome you. Uh, uh -huh. Come up and overcome you. Praise so, praise God. God. You know, I was sharing, uh, Pastor Marsha, a couple uh, Wednesdays, I've been sharing about the manifested presence of God. And in Exodus chapter 33, uh, Moses is uh, standing before God. And uh, I love this about Moses. Moses says to God, I'm not going, uh, you've not shown me who's going to go with me yet. And then in verse 15, he goes this area. If you're not going, I'm not going. That's I'm right. not taking the step without I wanna, you. I want your goodness with yeah. me all the way. And that's what, and, and God responds to him by this area. He says, he says, listen, he said, because uh, Moses said, I want to see your manifested presence. And he goes, no, he said, I'm going to show you my goodness. Amen. 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 We, we don't, we, you know, a lot of people, when you say God is good, they, they don't, I'm not sure they really believe that because yeah. there are so many bad things that yeah. are attributed to God. Yeah, yeah, he gets blamed for it. Yeah. He has nothing to do with it. Yeah, even our insurance papers have that. You yeah. know, floods, tornadoes, you know, uh, hurricanes. Storms. Or, or, yeah, or other acts of God, you know, right. is what they put in there. So. That's right. <laughs> but, you know, as we, we've talked about this before, and I, as we... A shelter under his wings uh, you're going to find protection you're going to find direction you're going to have his, his goodness is just going to be all around you his presence is there and the Lord is our deliverer from the terror at night that's what if you go yes, on to amen. read further in Psalms yes. 91 you know all these things that have been going on around us all the uh, the riots and the danger that you see we have no fear because yeah, we know amen. God is our protector and he's taking care of things and you, we need take taking care of us. Yeah. You know, some of this stuff that's going on, God has nothing to do with. Yeah. Most, I mean, all of the bad stuff. <laughs> what am I saying? Some, all of it, the bad stuff. It's fallen man that's caused this. And so we need to just recognize it and recognize his goodness and how people are repenting and coming back to God through this. You're seeing all kinds of things like that in the news and yeah. in places like I that. I like the word that we use there. It says, I'm secure. That's right. You know, I mean, secure means that you have confidence, you know, that this is the way God is. God, you are secure in God's goodness. The Bible says every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights above. So, you know, Pastor Arsha, it, 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 you know, Many times people say, well, you know, God gave me this disease, or God did this to me, or God took away my fridge, or microwave, you yeah. know, I mean, I mean, you know, we blame God a lot, but really and truly, it has nothing to do with God, you yeah. know, I, I can be assured, I can be secure in this knowledge right here, that God is for me and not against That's me, right. I'm his child. I mean, right. we would not be against our children, you know. Why would we think if we really believe we're children of God, why would we think God's Well, if we believe us? his word, yeah. we're not going to think that. Because if we rest in the knowledge that God is your security, just know this, that the Lord of the angel armies, this just blows me away, yeah. he's the Lord over all the angels and their armies, is keeping watch over me and he's around me because he is good. 
you can be secure in your God most high. And I like this quote here. The battle is not yours, it belongs to God. God has the strategy and the wisdom. If he doesn't get you out of it, he will bless you through it. <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach. Yeah, and he didn't together. take them out of the fiery furnace. <laughs> he was in there with them. He was with them. Praise there, God, now. praise God. Well, no matter what you're going through this week, we want you to know that you can be secure in God, that he loves you. And that, you know, as we've said, you're chosen, you're accepted, you, he delights in you, and, and you can be secure in that. Father, I thank you, Lord, thank you. that somebody would know today, Father, for revelation, they would not only have it as knowledge, but it would be perception in their life that you, that they are secure in you in everything in their lives. Thank you, Father, for your goodness in our life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Be, be blessed. blessed.